Welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel. Today I'll be speaking about serious adverse events. If you haven't already, check out our video about adverse events. What everybody, really everybody should know. So let's talk about serious adverse events. An adverse event becomes a serious adverse event whenever one of the following criteria is fulfilled. If the event results in death, is life-threatening, requires inpatient hospitalization or prolongation of an existing hospitalization, results in persistent or significant damage, if it is a birth defect or a congenital anomaly, or if it's medically relevant. The decision if the medical relevance of an event is important resides with the investigator, unless the sponsor makes their own requirements for the study. For example, the sponsor can say every new cancer diagnosis must be reported as a serious adverse event, or SAE. What does the term life-threatening mean? In connection with the reporting timeframes for serious adverse events, this means that the event may immediately jeopardize human life. Therefore, medical and scientific judgment should be exercised in deciding whether the currently existing event is life-threatening or not. At first sight, some events may seem to be life-threatening, but with further consideration, it can be demonstrated that the risk of death related with this event lies not in the immediate present, but in the future, even without any treatment. Also, illnesses, which hypothetically might cause death, should not be considered life-threatening. That is, if the illness progresses without significant risk of death to the patient. For example, the diagnosis of prostate cancer in a 42-year-old patient is not immediately life-threatening because the patient can live a high-quality life with this diagnosis for a long amount of time due to the cancer type. Within the serious adverse event definition, the term hospitalization refers to the regular inpatient admission caused by an acute adverse event. Thus, outpatient treatment, diagnostic measures, and or interventions which are not based on an adverse event do not fall within this definition. For example, in an ophthalmology study, glaucoma patients are hospitalized in order to measure the intraocular pressure of their eyes over the course of 24 hours. This action is a routinely performed diagnostic method to control and monitor the intraocular pressure. Thus, even though the measurement is connected to a hospitalization, no SAE needs to be reported here because there has been no AE before. Glaucoma is an already known disease which has been documented in the subject's medical history and which has not worsened. By definition, desired surgical interventions do not constitute serious adverse events either. For example, implantation of breast implants for cosmetic reasons would not be considered as an SAE despite the related hospitalization because the wish for having bigger breasts does not need to be considered an adverse event. There is a distinct difference between serious adverse events and a severe adverse event. Serious is based on a patient or event outcome or action criteria usually associated with events that pose a threat to a patient's life or ability to function. These events will fall within the definition of serious adverse events depending on GCP and sponsor SOPs. The term severe reflects the intensity of a specific event. The intensity is usually classified as mild, moderate, and severe. The event itself, however, may be of relatively minor significance, such as a severe headache, since even the most intense headache is not considered an event which is life-threatening or leads to a hospitalization or death. This should only be reported as an adverse event with the degree of severity severe, but not as an SAE, which has to be reported within 24 hours. A heart attack, however, would automatically be an SAE due to the associated hospitalization, even if it is a moderate heart attack. A moderate heart attack like this would be classified as a moderate serious adverse event, which has to be reported to the sponsor within 24 hours. Thank you so much for watching our video about serious adverse events. 
I hope that these presentations help you understand a little bit more about the technical terms. And until next time.